What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get 20,000 plus water vapor points per day. So the first thing you guys want to do is always do your first one for the live events because it always reset. So make sure you do that. This one's about to reset in like two minutes. I don't really know when they reset because the promo just came out like a few hours ago. So make sure you guys always do your first win. And if you guys do have warm points like me, you guys can spend it. You guys get 1,000 water vapor points just for three stars. But if you guys are lazy and don't want to do anything, you guys could do season, but you guys aren't going to get as much as you do in the live event. So I would stay away from season, even if you're like lazy and just leave it on autoplay. You're not going to get that much. Might as well do the live events because you get 50. I mean, what am I saying? You use 50 stamina to get 200 of the water vapor points when you can do this live event, which gives you, I think, 750 for 150 stamina. And let's say you do season three times because that adds up to 150 stamina. That's only 600 of the water vapor points you guys would get. So stay away from season mode. Unless you guys are lazy and don't want to do this live event, but this live event is pretty easy to do. You just need to score like nine points by yourself, which is pretty easy. So I'd recommend staying away from season. You only get what 200? I mean 600 for 150 stamina, but you can get 750 for 150 stamina just from doing the live event. And if you guys do want to grind this promo, I'd recommend doing showdown and arena pvp because showdown gives you 200 points just for 25 stamina if you win though that's the thing if you win you get 200 other points and then at arena you get 150 for 50 stamina each win that's only if you win so that's what um 450 for 50 stamina for arena and then 400 the water vapor points for showdown so those are the best ways to do it so if you guys don't want to grind i would just stick to doing the live events because you guys still get a decent amount of water vapor points just stay away from season because you don't get as much water vapor points as doing these live events so make sure you guys do this instead but everyone knows about watching your ads and stuff so make sure you guys always do that you guys can buy coin packs as well now also make sure you watch your ad for the 150 live points because you get 50 stamina as well. Then if you also have ads in your inbox, make sure you guys do that because you guys get 50 free stamina each time. And then let's see what else is there. There's nothing really else besides your ads, showdown, PVP, I mean arena PVP, and Warm up points, I mean, warm up live events and these other live events as well. So make sure you guys do your first wins, showdown, arena PvP. If you guys do want to grind it out, use your warm up points on the live events so you guys can get like a thousand plus water vapor points. If you guys also have boosts, uh, oh, I forgot this live event right here gives you a player. I think it was like 89.0 for Al Horford. And he gives out plus 2% of the water vapor points to team. Yeah, he gives out plus 2% water vapor to team. So make sure you guys do these other live events as well. Because you guys get free players and they give out boosts. I don't know about the 93 overall players, but I'm pretty sure the rest of the 89 overall players gives out plus 2%. Maybe these 93s give up boost as well. So make sure you guys do that because they're free events to do. You get free players just from having the points. I'm at 9,000 points. That's how I got that 89 over Al Horford. So if you guys did find this video to be helpful and enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe channel for new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.